What's cracking, y'all? You are now watching Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. So I got wind that Kevin Garnett uh, was on one of his abysmal rants. And I guess he tried to draw some kind of comparison to Kobe Bryant and Bronny James. Let's take a look. Bro, I've been watching the Combine. I just came back from Chicago. We just tapped in with yeah. TA up there. Told you A.B. Bradley was up there watching some watching some of the, you know, the Combine stuff. The fish was up there. The league has really took the Combine now and made it like an epic center of knowledge. Now, 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 they're now, they're not in their teaching, so to speak, like, hey, come here, Pete, you know, Mm-hmm. Like development, but it's it's a it's a better sense of like you remember when we go remember when we used to went to the combine he was like Ugh, we're not going over the Moody Bible we hop you know what I'm saying whatever whatever we drop lottery so you just do your physical you yeah walk. yeah you do it's your another physical. environment they making everybody go through the jump now everybody got to go through do jump you got to go through it yeah Bronny looks really good P he looks really good he looks poised. He looks like he wasn't rattled by everything that was going around. He looked like he was used to the moment. He had a good session where he shot the ball well. And if I am a team, bro, I, I will I would actually take a chance on that because greatness runs through bro's brain uh, veins, bro. And you got to know at some point he's gonna have a little he's gonna have a growth spurt and it's gonna click and whatever. Kobe Bryant, bro, if you go back and look at Kobe in the draft, bro, Kobe, Kobe was 18. Mm-hmm. Kobe won the McDonald's MVP. He, some argued that other guys, Tim Thomas in that draft, was, uh, was you know, arguably better, whatever, however, whoever. I'm saying to say that he had great bones and a, and a great makeup to build off of. Bronny shows some of that same makeup. I'm not calling him young Kobe or none of that. Yeah. But I'm saying that that potential... When you see him go through the shooting jersey, when you see him got the vertical, when you see him go in them athletics, and now you you put him in the other lines of all the young kids being athletic, you see you, he he does this, Pete. He has a better shot. Now it's just knowledge. Now it's just you know, you know he came off heart surgery. You know what I'm talking about? Right. Like, I ain't giving him no 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 excuses or nothing, but I'm just being 100 with it. You feel me? Right. Man, bro, I would I saw I saw it. I was watching it. and I was like, man, if somebody got that early and was able to develop that. You know, look at Anthony Simons. He wasn't polished when he first came in. He had great bones to where yeah. he can develop. And now look at it. He's behind CJ and Dane for all those years. He soaked that up. Anthony Simons can actually put that motherfucker in the, in the bucket. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I'm saying, if you can take pieces like that and projects like that and build them and grow them, you can do the same thing with young fella, man. Bron- Bronny gonna be something, bro. He just gotta, he just gotta stay at it. Yeah. And and I'm starting to see him kind of distance, or it looks like he's starting to separate himself and try to have his own little story, you know? When it first came out, it felt like Bron was trying to pair it up. When yeah. Bron and go, I go, it seems like it's a little more distant now. Right. You know what I'm saying? He was in Cleveland while he was in Chicago. Do- you know what I'm saying? Growing up. Yeah, growing up, having his own, as yeah. it should be, right? Right. Yeah, but he looked good, man. Oh, man. Take these headphones off. Ugh. KG. Listen, man. KG has been all over the place in some of his recent takes. At times, I hear him say things that are just completely off the wall. I mean, false narratives. I mean, I'm not talking about something that is so much subjective as I am just talking about flat out wrong. And it's starting to make me, and not just me, but other people think that KG might be getting paid by clutch under the umbrella, under the wing of the almighty Clutch Sports. He'll take some crazy, crazy takes, put some crazy takes out there. And then a week later, it seems like he returns to some form of normalcy. And then some of his subjective takes that are true opinions, uh, he has been on the record contradicting himself at times. And you know how Kevin Garnett talks. He says it with so much confidence and vigor. Like his feet deep in the mud with it, standing on it. But this here, comparing young Kobe Bryant to Bronny James, my guy. You saying you ain't really trying to compare him to young Kobe, but you are. You are. Boy, have you lost your mind? Cause I'll help you find it. Now, I don't want to hear him 
about having potential when there has been no shred of evidence to lend to the fact that he could potentially be something like Kobe Bryant. We have seen nothing from this kid to make you even think that. Now, I get it. Anything's possible. You can't always predict things. People miss the bell on players all the time. Players that nobody knows exist end up going late in the draft, end up being great, and vice versa. Players that have all the potential end up not living up to their expectations and end up being duds or flops or how they like to say a bust. But if I do what I'm supposed to do, look at a player, apply critical thinking, survey him, everything about him, and try to predict what this player can be for my team, I'm looking at Bronny and I'm not seeing a lot there and I'm looking at other players saying that these guys probably have more potential. But people just throwing that potential card around everywhere without solid concrete evidence to back up their point. Talking about greatness runs in its veins. Based off what, because his father was great? Well, Michael Jordan was great. What happened to his son? Did greatness run through his veins too? At least greatness through basketball? <laughs> Joe Jellybean Bryant wasn't great, but look how Kobe ended up. Listen, man, don't, don't. Look, Kobe... And he kept, Kobe wasn't drafted at 18. Kobe was drafted at 17, technically. And Kobe at 17 was light years ahead of this kid, Bronny James. Light years. Kobe Bryant was drafted out of high school. One of the best high school players to ever lace him up. Skip college. Uh, Kobe Bryant. I've decided to take my talent to... Uh... <laughs> No, I have decided to skip college and take my talent to the NBA. Wild organizations with his pre-draft workouts. And yes, we all know about Kobe's slow start in the NBA. But people sit here and act like he was some kind of bum. After signing his contract with the help of his parents because he was 17, he went into the league. His body was not fully developed yet. To be expected, really, from anyone coming out of high school not named LeBron James. But he had great skill and promise, and it showed through his play. Even when Kobe got into the NBA, it has been notoriously stated that he was outperforming many of his own teammates in practices on a regular basis. But the coach at the time, Del Harris, and the atmosphere of the NBA at the time did not value young players like they do now, especially an 18-year-old dripping with confidence that liked to put on a show. They wasn't having that. Yeah, the NBA was like that at one point. Don't forget, Kobe Bryant got benched in an all-star game as a starter because he had the garden jumping and started to put his imprint out on the game. to take the choice. He's saying, I don't want you to pass it. Look at the dribble move. Look at the fake. And the hook. Let's take another. I've never seen this before. Behind his back to himself, to his right hand, and the Kareem Sky hook. <laughs> You're not that old that you've never seen that move. Magic jump. Look at Magic. Hey, I don't think Magic's ever seen it before, but he loves it. The coach didn't like that. In an all-star game. He was out there competing, putting on a show, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Michael Jordan, and he didn't get back into the game in the fourth quarter as a starter because the coach was a hater. That happened. Well, Kobe, you didn't get back in the game the last 18 minutes. And George Carl iced you a little bit. Were you disappointed? No, not really. Uh, I just like to come out here and have some fun. I had my fun, and I was able to rest a little bit. The move jerked Bryant from the running for game MVP and ran against the weekend's theme of a passing of a torch by NBA players from the old guard to the new. On top of all that, Kobe Bryant was drafted to an already contending team with championship aspirations, an established superstar in Shaquille O'Neal, and solid star guards in Eddie Jones and Nick Van Axel. That 1998 All-Star game, three Lakers represented Shaq, Van Axel, no, four Lakers, my bad. Shaq, Kobe, Van Axel, and Eddie Jones were all on that all-star team in 98. There's countless of media out here 
were other players, players that came in with Kobe, saying Kobe was the best of all of us. How the hell am I getting minutes and this guy is not? And it used to piss Kobe off. On a permanent basis, Kobe proved to be an effective player in making the All-Star team as a bench player in his second year. Bronny James, a guy that is only getting drafted off the strength of his father's name, and LeBron James using himself as free agent bait to try to lure teams into selecting Bronny as a package deal with LeBron. Right. Really? 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 You comparing that to Kobe Bryant? <laughs> a kid that was not good enough to come to the league out of high school, even if the league allowed it still, but he does make it to college and is as far away from being NBA draft quality as anyone to never make the NBA draft. He wasn't even good on a college team that wasn't good. And I get all the context. That's given the context of the health condition. I watched Bronny play through high school before his condition. I was rooting for the kid. And if you don't believe me, you can go back and watch my Bronny content if you think I'm lying. I have a Bronny playlist where I was watching highlights of this kid through high school, rooting for him. I enjoyed watching him. I wanted to see him succeed. I still want to see him succeed. And back then, I was saying this guy is not NBA material and would need to develop in college. It is on the record. Go to the Bronny playlist and watch the videos of me giving my opinions on him. And you know what? As I sit here, mid-thought, I'm disgusted at myself for even doing this video because it's so egregious. I'm mad at myself for lending this any attention. It's like hearing somebody say Carl Anthony Towns is the greatest center to ever play the game of basketball and then me feeling the need to address the take. I'm done with this. This deserves no more attention. I'm out, y'all. Appreciate y'all for stepping in. KG, you need a... Uh, you need to go get checked out, brother. We out, baby.